Hello everyone, welcome to my live stream. It's your girl Diana's Beauty. Yeah, we are live. Bluebell, thank you so much for being here today. Okay, yeah, I understand, girl. See you. So, guys, yeah, we'll be talking about you all know what we always talk about, but the topic of today of today basically is um about weight, about women gaining weight and how our men make us feel about it. I don't know about you, but weight gain is something that comes from some people naturally, some people come as a result of age, some people come as a result of giving, but some people come as a result of stress, weight loss comes to some people as a result of stress, but for whatsoever reason, um, what I'm here to actually talk about is if weight loss is only for women because men have made us feel like we are the only one with the problem we are the only ones with the insecurity of gaining weight so should weight gain be only for weight loss be only for women or for both men and women okay for example now i was weighing 120 kg that is 265 pounds and i was feeling down i was depressed i was not happy about myself i was not happy about the way i looked and then on the other hand let's just say last year the lockdown came and all of us we had to stay at home okay we had to stay at home and my husband too was putting on weight his stomach was becoming big but for some men they'll be like no this is not the way i got married to you look i have put on so much weight look at your stomach look at your breath has fallen this and that 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 i don't know if we're understanding the topic of today basically <laughs> mom <laughs> splendor hi thank you for joining the live stream so the topic of today is is weight loss only for women or men as well should try to lose weight it's easier for women to gain weight though because of their metabolism because of their body type so it's easier for women to gain weight but hey melody is how far it's a premiere finish i just left it running while i was preparing thank you for joining the live stream so we get especially if you have a man who is having like a big tummy you know nifante you're welcome to the ls thank you for joining who are those on fg i'm not seeing let me check okay i've given the um, i've given the overall gist of today some time ago last year i was trying to bring up a topic so one of my students told me that for the past six months the husband didn't take her out because she has three kids the husband didn't take her out and uh, she's just been there like that he always gives one excuse to another if they invite both of them for a wedding if she's going he will not go if she's not going he will go just like that so she had to he not he didn't necessarily tell her that is because you have put on a lot of weight she's the one who was just feeling like maybe that's why he doesn't like taking me out i brought it some time ago for us to talk about but i didn't have people on the live that day all things oh all things Leanne, thank you for joining the live stream aloha aloha <laughs> yeah got it is lovely Thank you, thank you, Melodies. Thank you, my splendor pretty for joining the live stream. So today that we have more people, I'd like us to deliberate about this topic and really um, see, let's be very interactive here. Eh? Type down what you think. If we are stressing too much, we, we, we are letting inferiority complex get the best of us and if actually we should be going all through the stress why men are just relaxed drinking their beer just having their pot belly <laughs> and all that okay so for those who have been following some of my weight loss drinks when i'm doing some of the weight loss drinks i'll say this drink is for i am a husband i'm not doing this drink too by the way guys don't mind my makeup i was doing a makeup tutorial so i was like this i, I can't i can't just sit down do a makeup tutorial and i go and wash my face for what let me come live and make use of the makeup <laughs> now me on a normal day i'll not carry this makeup to go out eh, there's no way i can go with this makeup 
except it's for a photo shoot. But I said, let me come live with it. I hope you don't mind. It's been long I did the makeup. I did it since morning. My eyes are getting red. I'm tired. Your live stream is amazing. Is it splendor writing? I'm not sure it's splendor writing. I'm sure it's better writing. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, see how different lovely faces. Thank you. Um, all things Lillian. Am I all things Lillian is Andrew? Yeah, all things Lillian. Thank you so much. M and Z Tech Fit. You're welcome to the live stream. Sis, I ran you today, but I could not say hi. Consistent place. Hello, Vivi. Beautiful delicious flower. <laughs> Because it's time crazy, I'll come again. Thank you. <laughs> Party beauty context. You're welcome to the live stream. Okay, I was about to put my heaven. Guys, you all are welcome to the live stream. Feel free to give your share your thoughts. Cute Janino. Janino, you're welcome to the live stream. Thank you for coming. Guys, if you are coming in, <laughs> you know what to do now. Activate your share button. Oh, yeah, hit on that share button. Let us share and have let's have. And if you are a man watching me, please don't be scared to voice your opinion, okay? So, the topic is, it's weight loss only for women. Is it okay for women to try to level up, to try to look fit while the men are walking with their pot bellies? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not insulting anybody, okay? I'm not saying that you have a big stomach. I'm just saying that um, men who are not looking fit, and should every man strive to have a six-pack? I know six-pack is not an achievement. Most men now say, like, I read a fun time one time, and he was saying that um, guys who have six-packs is because to spend that time at the gym training <laughs> instead of working money. Okay. So this guy who made this post, he was defending the fact that he is not having six-pack because he is spending his time working money while those who are always in the gym are broke. I know that that was only, I know that that was fun time. That was fun time, but on a normal day, you having six packs should not um, prevent you from having money. Or the fact that you're having money, or the fact that you're having six pack. <laughs> Yeah, the fact that you're having six pack doesn't mean you're not having money. So joke aside, if the women are struggling to lose weight, should the men struggle to lose weight as well? I'm not even bothered because I'm not having viewers on this on this live stream. If I was here insulting people or talking about the 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 thing that CY did, I'm sure that this live stream would have been flooded. But anyway, that's not my thing. Yeah, I'll keep doing my thing. Whether people come or people don't come. Anyways, I love them all. And you, <laughs> thank you, Splendor. I know it's definitely not Splendor talking. Blessing, Lovina. You're welcome to the live stream. Thank you so much for joining the live stream. Janino says, "Cute, Janino. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching." Uh, okay, so this is a broad topic, and I would like people to come on board and share their opinions. So I'll be dropping the link where you can actually hop in and share. Okay, for those who are just coming in, I was explaining that I had this student some time ago. The reason she registered for weight loss class was because for over six months, for over six months, her husband didn't take her out. And that was shortly after she had her third child. She has three children. That was shortly after she had her third child. <clears throat> Patricia Abija, you're welcome to the LS. After she had her third child, she discovered that the husband just the husband changed. Even though after having the third child, she said her body had gone through a transformation that her other pregnancies didn't go through. Like she gained massive weight, like the weight she gained was more than the, the, the weight she had gained for the previous pregnancies. So after that, the husband just 
like the husband was just avoiding her the husband will not take her out the husband will not take her to the restaurant the husband will not take her to, for any event it even got to the point where they were no they were no longer going to church together okay he was he kept giving from one complaint to another one complaint to another so she came to me like Vivian I need help I am suspecting that the way I am I know that there's that, that there's a way that weight gain can make you feel i'm talking out of experience that's a good thing that's that's one thing i love about my my weight loss journey because when someone is telling me something i can relate to that person because i've been there people who know me you've seen you've seen me you've seen me before you can let me just say even if you don't even if you don't trust my before pictures there's so many people who knew me before when i was overweight okay i don't want to be using the word um fat so there were, it got to a point where I felt like I don't care anymore. As I from the fact that I boycotted social media, I was like, I don't care anymore. I just started eating. And yeah, I did come to the house, you see me, I'll, I'll be like one, one, one grandmama who has like six grandchildren. I'm not even saying the number of children I myself had. So I was just eating anyhow, just. I would at uh, my hair, I would leave my hair undone for three, four months. That's so unlike me. That's the level at which a certain weight gain can make you get to as a woman. And if you're a woman and you are married and or you have a partner, or those things don't really they, they, they aren't really happy with those things. And depending on the level of your relationship, some of them might be able to sit you down and talk you through it. But most at times, most men will not be able to sit you down because then they will know that they'll be adding to your depression. You understand? There is something called postpartum depression, which I only learned about when I traveled. Postpartum depression is this you know this feeling of anxiety you're feeling down after having a baby and stuff like that you don't know how you're going to cope with it's when you're having another baby eh? the baby and yeah surrounding everything so couple with postpartum depression and the fact that you're gaining weight anyway the weight part is always like um one of the reasons for the postpartum depression let me take Comment. So consistent places, weight loss is not mostly about looks, but about a healthy lifestyle and puts you away from risk. Yeah, we are getting to that. Consistent place, we are actually, we are actually getting to that. That's why when I'm doing my workouts, I'm emphasizing that it's workout shouldn't only be for people that want to lose weight. Like I'll get seeing people saying that. Uh, you want my work? I want my finish. That's in pigeon, okay? In English, it means you. Do you want me to get finished? You are not only working out to to lose weight. Even if you are slim and you want to to work out, you can go on a long walk. Just walk, do power walks, and then you raise your heart rate. That's it. You don't necessarily go to the, you don't need to go to the gym to lift weight and all that. So consistent places, weight loss is not mostly about looks, but about a healthy lifestyle and puts you away from risks. Yes, it does put you away from risks. It really does put you away from risks. M and Z fitness says, yes, consistent place. I'm living that now, and you are doing a great job. Like I, I admire your consistency. I really admire your consistency because it's you look beautiful, sweetheart. Thank you, Constance. Oh, thank you for joining the live stream. Yeah, I was saying that I didn't do all this <laughs> makeup to come live. I was actually doing a makeup tutorial. Then I decided to come live after the makeup tutorial so that the make makeup shouldn't go to waste because we are in lockdown. Even though I can't carry this makeup anywhere, though. Party Beauty Context, thank you for joining the live stream. Splendor <laughs> says, happy, li happy live stream. Splendor Pretty, guys, Splendor Pretty is my daughter's channel. If you have not subscribed to her, please get her, grab her, grab her. Subscribe to her, motivate her to do more videos. So, I'm here silently listening from the background. Host. No problem, Andrew. Thank you so much for being here. And, like... Like seriously, I've not shared my live stream 
on any platform. Okay, that seriously, that seriously means that is me. It's Splendor, it's a lie, that's not you. <laughs> that's not you, you cannot be writing this too much. I don't trust you. We are spelling service, no you. Okay, so so it's actually okay. This is the only one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was link sis. Okay, I'll drop a link. <laughs> she actually came upstairs to tell me that I'm narrating her. And she's the one. <laughs> Thank you, Splendor, for running me. Okay, guys. So if you're in this woman's shoe, what will you do? What will you do? Because that actually pushed her to want to lose weight. So she came to me and she said, my husband is not taking me out. He's not doing anything to motivate me to lose weight. He's not encouraging me. I asked her, what have you done to encourage yourself? Because most of the times we get it wrong. When you, when, when, when you are trying to lose weight for somebody else, God forbid, I'm not saying, actually, we're talking about husband and wife, we're not talking about boyfriend and stuff like that. What if the person is not there? What if the person is not there? Will you still have that motivation to keep living healthily? She said her husband, I said, what? Okay, I asked her. Because um, especially when it comes to my pain, coaching i usually like to know specifically why the person wants to do with is it for you is it for somebody else for my reason you might have motivating factors but those factors should come secondary for whatever reason do it for you first do it because you want to feel happy with yourself do it because you want to believe you are beautiful and you are satisfied the way you look okay just like consistency please said weight loss is not all about looks but it's all about a healthy lifestyle if you know that you are chubby and you are healthy we are not body shaming anybody by all means do you by all means do you there are men that always whenever i post my before and after pictures people will come and that say no i prefer you before i prefer you before 80 percent of those people saying those things they are men 80% are men. That is funny when I see um women to come and I say, You are looking very cranky, you're looking sick. Please, oh, it's correct, so it's enough. Don't do it again. You're okay like that. No, it, as long as you don't feel happy the way you are, do something about it. Nobody should dictate to you the way you should look, how you should look, what you should wear, the type of makeup you should wear, when you should wear your makeup, nobody 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 should transfer their insecurities or their inferiority complex on you okay so obviously i'm not wearing this makeup somebody be like no your makeup is too much your makeup is too much why are you wearing that to come like and so freaking what it's my face my products i don't think i need a dime from you to buy any of my makeup products I don't think I need a dime from you to buy any of my slim cost things. No, I don't. As long as I'm not asking you, your opinion does not really count. My mom is in the building, guys. Yay! Give it up for my mom. <laughs> Thank you, my mom, for being in the building. Okay, Splendor. Go downstairs. Where is Papa? Okay. Okay. Go downstairs. Thank you. <laughs> yeah party beauty says yes yes don't mind them patricia let's not mind them let's not mind them at all let's not mind them because they are spirit killers that people who want to you know want to bring your group down don't let that happen if you feel like your tummy is too big oh yeah come and buy my waist trainer i have the best waist trainer so far <laughs> <laughs> if you realize someone is too big, come and buy my waist trainer. If you want to have like Kim Kardashian's figure, come and buy my waist trainer. Your waist will be slim. It it works. It works like magic. It works like magic. So the only thing you need is to be consistent with whatever thing you're doing. 
is to be consistent. Like, I'm so serious about this live today. I'm so sweet mother TV. You're welcome to the LS. Thank you for joining the live stream. I'm so serious about this live stream today, guys. It's like I'm even getting hot. It's like I'm getting hot. You understand? Plan go down by. <laughs> My baby girl was giving me more out of us. <laughs> Alice. Hi, Rosemboli. Rosemboli in the building. Rosemboli, thank you so much for, for joining the live stream. How are you doing? How was your day? I hope your day was amazing. Guys, if you're coming in, please do share me out. Do share me out. Do share me out. Do share me out. This topic of today is so hot we need to love ourselves the way we are and working out should be to work on you mentally and physically that's coming from a tech fitness coach okay so that's m and z tech fit please if you don't have her grab her for a daily motivation she works out like crazy if you don't have her please grab her grab her grab her grab her grab her let us stay fit together let us stay fit together yes it's all about weight loss it's not all about weight loss it's also good for your health the way i feel fulfilled whenever i can work out in a day it's always amazing it's always amazing one thing though i'm using my laptop and the quality on the laptop is always so whack i don't know why and this, this laptop is never showing the beauty of this makeup <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a bit of this makeup anyway we're not yet to talk about a bit of makeup <laughs> sweet mother you're welcome to the live stream thank you for joining <laughs> i will show your wisdom and courage glory to god hallelujah that's my mom in the chat giving me more support guys can you imagine my mom is in the chat thank you mama thank you mama for joining the live stream <laughs> Okay, let's get back to our topic. I'm asking if weight loss is only for men or for only for women or men should try as much as possible to level up as well. I'm going back to the point where we are saying that weight loss is it's not just to lose weight because some men will be like, see, I'm slim, I'm just why should I be working out? Why should I be going to the gym? It's for your mental health. And it's for your health as well. It's good when you can sweat it out. Sweating it out means taking toxins out of your system. So I was giving the, I was using the example of this student of mine who joined the weight loss class because her husband wouldn't take her out no more. He wouldn't tell her that she has changed, but she is guessing that that's the reason because as a result of her weight gain she stopped taking care of herself she was just looking like me when i was 120 kg you understand in that case as a woman what will you do what will you do as a woman guys i said let's make this let's make this thing interactive let's let's share ideas let's share ideas if you are in that woman's shoe like he will never for the past six months they wouldn't go anywhere by themselves you know what will you do if you are in this woman's shoe i'm just taking a moment to shout myself out why i have some more comments coming down i need enough comments to pin I know there are not so many of us here, but I need enough comments to pin. Blue Bear, welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you're okay. I'm that way. I wouldn't go anywhere myself. Okay, see ya. Okay, um, Etel Efangu, I hope I'm pronouncing your name very well. Welcome to the live stream. Thank you so much for joining the live stream. Please give me a thumbs up if you have not given me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you have not given me a thumbs up. 
Give me a thumbs up if you have not given me a thumbs up. Okay, so. So, guys, as I was saying, the second question I asked this, this um, so she said, no, I'm trying to, to lose weight to see if he can, if he can start taking me out, if we can just go back to um to the way life used to be. The question, the second question I asked her, Morgani Films, you're welcome to the live stream. Thank you for joining. So the second question I asked her was that, okay, now if you, if you, if you succeed in losing weight, El Rose, welcome to the live stream. Thank you for coming. If you succeed in losing weight and things don't go back to normal, what will happen? I'm giving us a moment to pause and think. Stra, hey, host, you're looking good. Love the caption of your topic. Thank you so much for joining the live stream stra thank you so so much i appreciate you being here just give you a thumbs up thank you for the thumbs up please if you can do share me out it does this thank you sis you're welcome thank you so much for being here i'm not seeing share us please if you're watching me from fb share me out it's free now it's free share me out <clears throat> share me out okay so the second thing i asked her was if you if you succeed in losing the weight weight you have a time frame you succeed in losing your, your the weight during the time frame and he doesn't take it he life doesn't go back to normal what will happen do you know why i was asking that question do you know why i was asking that question i was asking that question because when you are trying to lose weight to, for somebody else and um probably if the person is no longer there or because you're expecting a particular reaction or you're expecting um a certain change and the change doesn't come there's a high probability that you will start you will go back to your bad habits okay because for example now if you are losing weight that somebody should love you more and the person love you even less you will get depressed and there's a high chance that that weight will come back double i don't know if i'm making sense you know, I don't know if, if I'm making sense. What are your reasons for trying to lose weight? What are your motivating factors? Prioritize your motivating factors, okay? Prioritize your motivating factors. It's just for me now, I was trying to lose weight. The, the, the October 2019, when I made up my mind that, yes, I am doing this and I'm doing this for real this time around. I've, I've been having so many um, attempts, failed attempts. I would, try for one week two weeks i was like no this thing is not happening i'll change i change diets change all types of pills change this change that nothing was happening october what made me to say no i'm really going to do this was because my daughter embarrassed me in front of other people you know my daughter embarrassed me in front of other people i could not take it i was like no 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 i can't do this anymore okay but that motivating factor was there and i held on to it because she is a child you understand she is a child and i knew i had to do it for me as well i had to do it for my youtube channel i always wanted to open a youtube channel but because i was overweight i didn't like the way i was looking apart from being overweight i had a lot of pimple acne dark spot you know i was not feeling comfortable enough to stand in front of the camera and talk the way i'm talking now but because of that i said okay i was going to lose weight but she she was a child had it been i was doing it maybe for my husband or for man or for something and then they are no longer there okay first of all what what are your reasons what made you to put on weight what made you to gain weight there are some practices that we do that we know that it's affecting our health is making us gain weight but we can't just stop doing them it's just like for example it's just like being an addict being a drug addict you know you're taking this drug it's not good for you but when that thing sets in you cannot resist taking it you keep quitting and coming back quitting and coming back that's just the way we lost it that's just the way healthy lifestyle is you know that if i keep eating um what can i use pizza on a daily basis it has so much calories as i'm eating it i'm accumulating fat i'm accumulating trans fat but because you you want to satisfy your cravings you want to satisfy your tongue when that feeling comes you say no i must eat it i must eat it 
same thing like smoking. You know, I'm a smoke, I'm a smoke now, I'm a smoke now, I'm a smoke now, I'm a smoke now, I'll die. But the truth about it is that you will not die. If you don't have that slice of pizza at that particular time, just discipline yourself. Have it once a week or twice a week. I'm not saying don't have it at all. Have it once a week, twice a week. So that you know, okay, the days I'm having pizza, I'll if I'm working out, I'll try to burn out the calories. But if you are not working out and you're having pizza on a daily basis, you are doing harm to yourself. For last lifestyle, thank you so much for joining the live stream. I know someone who was working on himself for his ex and now that this person isn't them anymore that person is broken okay yes that's exactly what i'm saying if you're doing it with somebody and the person is not there there's a high probability that you will you in fact you will even gain double of that weight so this lady, i was asking this lady that what if you lose weight and and uh and his attitude doesn't change and he still doesn't take you out on dates and parties she was like she she said she really feel bad and then she asked me now why are you asking me all these questions as i'm asking you these questions to make you realize that you have to try to lose weight for yourself you, you have to try to lose weight because it is healthy you know if you if if normally you were like 75 kg and then you live from 75 kg to 125 kg it it has gotten to a level that is no longer healthy not all weight gain is bad okay that people that are asking me day in day out what can i do to lose weight there's even one of my posts on facebook that i shared which group was that my ex um pchs progressive i shared somebody came down and said what can i do to lose weight what can i do what can I do to gain weight? Please, my specialty is not for gain weight. I, I know a few um, weight gain recipes, but what I am motivated to do is to preach about weight loss because I have gone through it. I have gone through weight loss, weight gain, but I didn't gain weight in a healthy way. You understand? I didn't gain weight in a healthy way, so I cannot go about telling people that if you do this, do this, you will gain weight. You gain weight, but is the weight healthy? That's the same thing with weight loss. You are losing weight, but it's a rate at which you're losing weight healthy. It's not all about weight loss. It's all about losing weight healthily and staying healthy and having a healthy lifestyle. You get. So Bluebell says, um, you have to want to lose. You want to. Uh, you have to want to lose weight for yourself and yourself only. You have to want it for yourself. Yes, you want. To, you need to want it for yourself. You need to want it for yourself. But let's not delay the topic of today. Even though we are wanting it for ourselves, because the way most men make us feel when we put on with, they make us feel like trash, you know? Most men, they, they make us feel like trash. And then some of them can be so controversial. I was just saying how when I post my pictures on, like, can you help me? How do I share my screen on this? on this stream yard vanity uche you're welcome to the live stream vanity says eat healthy be active lost weight and live a healthy lifestyle that's just it that's just it that's just it that's the summary of everything we're talking about so most people lose weight in an unhealthy manner by starving themselves not keeping food down and end up developing eating disorders and other illnesses. Yes, even gastritis, like um, I made a video today talking about the mistakes of intermittent fasting. You know, intermittent fasting is one of the things that helped me to lose weight a lot. And I, I appreciate about intermittent fasting. Yeah, a lot. But you need to know how to fast. It's not just starving yourself. Is knowing how to fast, when to fast, how to fast, because there is a how, there is a when. Yeah. And knowing when to start. You know, Priska, you're welcome to the live stream. Thank you so much for joining. You're blessed.
okay? So after I spoke with her, I told her, okay, do it for you. Do it because it's good for you. Do it for your health. Don't do it because you want him to change. Do it. Do it because you think there is a need for it. You have gained all this weight. Initially, you are not like this. Let's even forget the fact that you have three kids. Initially, you are not like this. You gain all this weight. You yourself, you're, you're, you're feeling, you're feeling, you're feeling heavy. You cannot walk for long distance without breathing like a horse. <gasps> you know? So do it because it's time for you to change. And then in the process of doing it, many other things can fall into place. You know, but your main your main motive, you can have second secondary motives, you can have other motives, but your main motive should be that you're doing it for you, you're doing it because it is good that you should look weight, lose weight, you should look fit, you should feel healthy, and above all, you should look smashed. <laughs> Still in the background, see, it's no problem, consistent place. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for running me. You understand? Let me pin this blue bell. Did you know some cancers are caused from being underweight? I didn't know this at all. Yes, yeah, yeah, blue bell. Yes, blue bell. Yes, blue bell. But on a normal day, you don't just go underweight. There are some practices that you are doing. That makes you underweight. Now, for some people, when they are stressed, when they are depressed, they tend to lose weight and they lose weight in a rapid way. You understand? That way you can go, you can you can be underweight in that level. There are some people that they lose weight because they are sick. They might have one illness or the other. But <laughs> so I usually ask myself, why can't I be such a person? Because <laughs> You see this, your sister here? I'm the only person that eats when I'm sick, no matter the eat. Hey, this is me that I'm in labor. I am I am I am the hospital like that. I'm pushing that same push. Yeah, push. You can do this. I'm pushing. And I'm saying I'm hungry. Please, I want to eat. Give me food. <laughs> Let me feel depressed and I don't eat and I lose weight instead. Hey, this life is not balanced. I'm telling you guys, this life is not balanced at all. <laughs> So people tend to lose weight like that, but I'm the contrary. Okay, when I'm when I'm not feeling fine, when I'm depressed, that's the highest time that I have craving. <laughs> Consistent please don't laugh. I'm very serious. I'm very, very serious. Uh, when I was when I was younger, because now at least I'm older. When I was younger, my friend would be like, Maybe I will not eat. He broke my heart. He broke up with me. <laughs> I've carefully followed your methods. I will lost and it's ah oh, let me see my mommy's comment. Oh, that's my mommy in the building. It's just the best. That's my mom in the building, guys. You push you, you push give it up for my mom. My mom is my number one fan, my number one supporter. You understand? So my mom can tell you, we rather come from a family of um, overweight. I don't want to keep using the word fat. We rather come from a family of overweight. This is my mom in the building and thank God for her. You know, we've been able to break that. How can I put it? How do they call it? You know this thing that they say, um, Mm, let me think of the word. The word is not coming. <laughs> the word is not coming. Break the cycle. Yes, yeah, it's, it's break the cycle. Do you please can you laugh at what I said? Blue Bell, Helen is my mom. My bed, bed, bed mom. Helen is my mama. <laughs> I try your keto weight loss diet. I'll try your keto weight loss. Keto is so good when it comes to weight loss. Um, it's it's like blue what I'm trying to say. Um, it's like um, 
they use it in this Christian terms when they say you want to break. Okay, generational barriers. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, I'm talking of generational barrier. It has to do with your, your heritage. That's your great great grandmother was overweight, your grandma was overweight, your mom. You that that's what I, I was trying to say. Now we are trying in this our age, we are trying to break that generational of a wait 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 something on my last live stream on yeah on my last live stream i think somebody was asking me that no i think consistent place you asked it in the group as well consistent place you asked it in the group you said is there any such thing as uh generational weight gain is that what you said like everyone in your bloodline is overweight okay Yes, everyone in your family can be fat, but that doesn't mean you have to be overweight as well. Why am I saying so? If you follow the line stream, you follow the if you follow the if you follow their habits, yes, you will look like every other person. Okay, if you follow their habits, you look like every other person. But with the knowledge I've achieved now. It would have been easy, it would have been so much easier for me if I was back home. Why? Why would it be so much easier for me if I'm back home? It would be easier for me because back home we have organic food. Back home, we don't have all these luxuries, this um what we consider back home as luxury, but yeah, it's actually junk at its peak. The chocolates, the ice cream, the 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 things that you will not have it back home anyhow. But yeah, many minutes. Even if you are not buying, they'll be giving you. You understand? So it's easier if you can maintain a certain, if you can control your weight being abroad as an African, then I will say kudos to you, especially if you come from a background of rather bigger people. I don't know if I'm making sense. Can anybody relate with me? Um, consistent place, genetics. Yes, genetics. <clears throat> yes, genetics. You may Priska. Thank you. Thank you. Consider place you understand what I'm talking about, yeah? Because back home, we can pound our cocoa. Our cocoa is not having our see the truth is that eh, weight loss is about calorie in, calorie out, yeah. But back home, we can pound our cocoa. Our cocoa, yes, it has caps. But do you know that the 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 the, the powder cocoa yams that we have here, it has like three times the caps that is 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 in our normal cocoa. I don't know about other places, but where we are, we will hardly see like the cocoa yams. We see, I wanted to buy plantain yesterday, but there was no plantain. So you might either result going to the refined type of stuff. All those things generally they are not healthy. But what can we do? What 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 can we do? Those are some of the things that attribute to your weight and now. I'm not being a racist or anything, but you it was difficult. How many of us back home? How many of our people back home are dying of cancer? How many? But now is the thing is just rampant anyhow. Cancer of this, cancer of this. Where are these things coming from? Mostly from what we eat. Mostly from what we eat. That's just it. You will just hear that, oh, this my auntie had this. It has never ever existed in your family. It has never ever existed in your family. Let's be mindful of what we eat, regardless of if we are trying to lose weight or we are trying to gain weight. If you are trying to gain weight, gain weight healthily. I know that sometimes it's difficult. I'm in that situation as well. We're in a small town where we don't have us most um these African things like that. We mostly have it, we'll have to travel like to go to the capital, Dublin to go and buy those things because where we are, those things are very rare. They come to once in a blue moon. So we end up buying this this refined stuff and all that you understand. <laughs> blue bear can tell you more. Cancer, heart disease, heart attack, stroke, all these are from food. You see, you see what I'm talking about. This is somebody who is dealing with mental health care, so she can tell you more about it. You guys, you understand? 
Priska, thank you so much. You understand what we are talking about? At the end of the day, is 80% what we put in our mouth. Sometimes we just prefer a bar of chocolate. I'm a victim of that too. I'm telling you that the amount of chocolate I ate this December, I don't think I've eaten that much chocolate combined my whole life. Huh? No. No, I don't want to ever go there again. But I last time say it's very true unless you get heat stroke. That's from sun. If you're not taking proper precaution. Blue Bell, which one is heat stroke? Thank you, M and Z for sleeping in the building. Blue Bell, which one is heat stroke? Which one is heat stroke? Okay, but I say food is also a big tie with mental illness. Being a sufferer and one that does deal with other suffering and doing research is from food. It's about breaking attachments to food and learning. Okay, Bluebell, myself, I have to I have to do a lot of research on this. How to deal with problem without food. Okay. Okay, heat stroke is when your head gets hot and affects the brain. Okay, do you know what I was thinking? I was thinking, <laughs> I'm not telling you what I was thinking. Let me say anyway, I was thinking that heat stroke is when you walk under the sun for so long. <laughs> you never know heat stroke. Then in my mind, I was like, in that case, why didn't we get... <laughs> Why didn't I get his stroke back in Africa? Because hmm, the type of sun that is there, hmm, you'll just be wondering. You'll just be wondering. Oh. <laughs> but I lifestyle, are you laughing at me? I'm serious, I'll be honest. I'm being honest. It's why people have addiction. People have addiction because of heat stroke, blue bell. Do people have addiction because of heat stroke? Any kind of addiction affects mental health. Okay, even if it's smoking addiction, you're addicted to, to drugs. So any type of addiction affects mental health or leads to mental health. No, not because of heat stroke, because of mental, okay, mental illness. People develop addictions as a coping me mechanism. They don't realize it's making it worse. Okay, okay, I, I get it, I get it. Okay, let's just say, um, 
let's just say that I'm going through stuff, okay? I'm stressed. I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of things. And then I don't know how to cope with it. Then somebody introduces me to a stick of cigarettes or what what can I what can, what can I really use as an example? I start taking it. When I'm taking it, I feel like I'm feeling better. It will make me now to take another one another time. That's that's how you tend to get addicted. Baking that style, you're welcome to the live stream. Thank you so much for joining. God bless you, sis. Thank you for joining. Blueberry, are you understanding what I'm saying? You are right, Vienna. Losing weight should be more easier back home. Yes. Yes, it should be more easier back home. If you are disciplined, because even back home, majority of us back home, we should struggle with belly fat and all that. Only because we don't want to we don't want to follow the the rules or we don't want to like I buy most of my students like in my class, I have over 250 something students there. Most of them are from back home. But if you say don't eat this, don't eat that, don't eat that. They will not just mind you. They will go on eating it. Even though they, they have organic food, they have basically things that are healthy. They don't have unhealthy things as well. They will just go on eating. They will not mind you. At the end of the day, they will say, no, that guest program is not working. That guest program is not working. You want to see a doctor straight away when you see that you've seen that. Same with drinking alcohol. People drink alcohol to stop feeling pain. Yeah, but it doesn't fix the problem. Yes, alcohol alcohol is just like a temporary fix. Alcohol is a temporary fix because you're, you're, you're drinking alcohol to make the pain go away. But when the pain goes away, when the pain goes away, what next? When the alcohol has cleared up from your eyes, what next? That's another way developing mental illness.
Okay, people, sorry about that. I was on a call. Becky, now thank you for running me. Polite last star, thank you for running me. My blue belt is easier for women because society plays women as more soft in some ways as weak, whereas men are displayed to be the ones that don't show emotions. Men don't show <clears throat> men don't show emotions but i'm asking that is it right that they just make it feel like we are the only ones to make the effort to lose weight especially if you're with a man who is big as well having a big tummy as well and both of you are just protruding is it right for society to make it like weight loss is a woman's thing for most men, when they're going to the gym, very few men are going to the gym with a mentality that they're actually going to the gym because they have to look healthy, you know? They're doing it for health. Either they're going off a show or they, they, they just want to build on that six-pack, which is good, of course. It's good as well to have the six-pack. But at every point in time, we know that women first of all women have the tendency of changing in size changing in shape changing in um in color complexion i don't even know how i i should put it but women have that tendency a lot especially when they have to give birth when they're aging when that aging is just something else what are, are men doing to encourage us to go through those stages without stress i keep talking about the story i was telling you this man wouldn't take the woman out because she has changed he didn't say so she's the one suspecting that that's the reason you know so in such if you find yourself in such a milieu milieu <laughs> this is french actually i mean if you find yourself in such a situation what will you do what will you say what will be your reaction will you be doing it because you want the better side of him you'll be doing it for you or what are your motives okay my mom says since we started this weight loss journey i've been enjoying health more than ever before god has blessed my family with a wonderful mentor yay and that mentor is me. <laughs> That's my mom. Health is my passion. You're welcome to the live stream. Sis, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Health is my passion. Okay. I'll be ending my FB soon just because we don't have um we don't have contributors there on jenna you are blessed with a lot of knowledge blue bear you're the one embarking me with that knowledge oh yeah yeah you're, you're adding you're the one adding to that knowledge right here so blue bell says no this one blue bell says she society has a big cause in mental illness because there's no sense of belonging. So none want to do anything for themselves. They want to lose weight because they want a sense of belonging. I know, I know, but let me bust your bubbles now. Do you know that losing weight doesn't still give you the sense of belonging? There's one of my first videos I did, which was saying that how to feel confident in yourself. In that video, I am telling you guys, whether you are fat, what, no, what if whether you're overweight or underweight, at whatever state you are, carry confidence like no other person. Okay, just like me. As I'm talking with this guy to you, it doesn't mean that I like it, but I'm still here talking. Okay, let's just forget the fact that I might not have a choice because I still have to use my mouth to talk. <laughs> but at the end of the day, no matter how you look, no matter how you are carry yourself like you are the only one on earth of course you are the only one on earth self-confidence is something that has been underrated and i think especially as women we need to we need to 
we need to talk more about it because you see like this my student okay she's been looking down herself she's even lost the interest of king cap herself she's she's no when you start looking down on yourself other people will look down on you i'm not saying you should go on carrying high shoulders and make it as if everybody is under you no oh go go stella tv you're welcome to the live stream thank you so much for joining okay blue bell go talk to sis go talk to sisters go talk to sisters i think i'll be ending the f uh the fb let us stay on here let us stay on here uh <laughs> i'm looking at my phone at one side like and share them host thank you so much Stella. aren't you aren't you the sweetest sister is you are the best best sister is thank you for liking and sharing and this Okay, FB. Bye bye. Bye bye. God bless you. Let me go and take off my YouTube again. Do you know what happened last time? Last time I was trying to stop my FB and I went and stopped the YT instead. The YT had to start from the beginning. But we had an amazing day that day. Let me check on on my personal FB if there are any viewers there. If they are, then I will just have to hold on there for a while. I can't find it. Yay! Such a wonderful super chat. Thank you for that last time for the super chat. I appreciate. God bless and increase you on every side in Jesus' name. I'm back. She's okay. I've left her to rest. I don't want to bother her too much. Please don't bother her or leave her rest. Let her rest. Let her rest. Let her rest very, very well. Let her rest. Where is this thing now? I'm looking for the... Okay. Okay, I have a few people on day that are watching. I think... I think they're no longer there. Thank you so much, Andrews. Thank you, you're seeing the building. Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams to you. What's the time at your angle? It's now 9 p.m. here. And I'll definitely, I think I'll stop the LS now so that I'll have time to do a few videos before I go to bed. Without me standing, FB. I'll come to say bye to you too. Yeah. We gotta go. We gotta go, 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 go. We are going higher. Hi, yeah. Okay, the only left now we're waiting. I always like white tea because I can feel free anyhow. I like Emma D, thank you for still being in the building. So basically, people, that is it about our life of today. Thank you so much for being here. Blue Bell, we'll call it a day. Everything leads back to your mental health. Everything leads back to your mental health and your coping mentally do you know that do you know that so many people so many people are suffering from mental health but 
either they are not just aware of it or or they don't know about it so many people and if we are trying to be honest i've been a victim i have i have been a victim Yeah, so many people they don't speak maybe out of ignorance or <clears throat> out of fear of being judged, you know. Either they don't speak either because of either they're ignorant or they are scared of being judged. Yeah, speaking openly isn't easy, you know, speaking openly is not easy, but sometimes it's relieving. If you don't want to speak openly, at least have someone that you can talk to, someone you can trust. It's not it's not easy trusting people nowadays. Awani Malaji, you're welcome to the last stream. Thank you so much for joining. It's not easy having this someone you can trust because sometimes when you cannot identify a good person you talk to to the person it might actually make things worse because the person might just not give you what you need you know that when you're confiding in people eh, there are different categories of people that people that will tell you what you want to hear and it, it it's especially it um it's it's uh it's sometimes applicable when it comes to gossip okay for example i i'm having a problem with my another friend and then i'm confiding in another friend and the other and the another friend is like how dare you how dare she do, do that eh? how could she do that why 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 would she talk to you like that you understand so the friend will be telling you what you want to hear not necessarily what you need to hear so if you are confiding in somebody, the person should be able to tell you what you need to do to get out of that situation. It's just like you, Blue Bell, now. You'll be like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to eat. I'm not feeling as to eat. And if I'm a type of person, I'll say, okay, don't eat. Why don't you just go to bed? I'll say, no, you have to eat because it's good for your health. You have to eat because your body needs that energy. And sometimes you're like, no, I want to eat chocolate. I'll say, no, don't eat chocolate. It's better you have an apple. You get. But for some people, they'll be like, it's not just once a while. Eat the chocolate. Eat the chocolate. So people tell you what they know you want to hear, not necessarily what you need to know, what you need to be told, what you need to do. So you need to identify people you can confide in that will give you the right counsel. It's good to talk. It's good to talk. Imagine now the lady who came to me, oh, I've gained weight. My husband is no longer finding me a chatty, blah, 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 blah. And I tell her that, no, I can't see. I, it's important at every stage, we just spoke about it, to feel confident, to feel happy, to feel snatched. Even if you're overweight, wake up in the morning, do your hair, look neat, look beautiful, do your makeup. If you're not doing makeup, put your lip gloss. Don't be walking with cracked lips like you're in dry season in Cameroon. <laughs> what has been in dry season in Cameroon? Blue Bear, you cannot understand because I've never been to Cameroon. Shaman Teboya, welcome. This is my convenient sister. She will tell you how dry season is in Cameroon. Hey, it's very in Bambili. That dust. When you're walking like that, dust is empty in your nose. You're having kata. Me that have beers in my nose like that. The whole place will be white. Thumbs up. Thank you so much for the thumbs up, my sister. God bless you. You understand? Do put you don't want to do makeup, just put if let's not even let's not modify it. Put your Vaseline on your lips, just moisturize your lips, pack your hair. Don't be with your don't be with 
the net 24 7 in the house where the woman them they spoil una they spoil una <laughs> Let your hair fall in the house. Wear your nice short skirts. Wear even if there's nobody there. Even if there's nobody there. Sometimes people come to me. I'm not saying that all the time. I'm always looking for. Sometimes people come to me and say, "Are you going somewhere?" Because the way I'm dressed, you know. Give me to do that sometimes. Not normal dresses, but. <laughs> <laughs> but how my tan? See, how my tan? Correct, how my tan? <laughs> Whenever I was the net, yeah, I be oh, I be. You are wearing net on your head. I somebody just come closer. Hmm, hmm. And some of you will be complaining. Hi, ah, he's not even touching me. My mom is not even touching me. We are only the smell from your net. Let's not even go to the bra. <laughs> Let's not even go to the bra. Only the smell is coming from it. Nobody will even want to touch you. <laughs> oh my god, it's been an interesting one, guys. Ah, Bluebell, you know not understand when we talk about dry season in Cameroon. And, hmm. You never watch the net for ages. <laughs> Inter is brutal here. Yeah. How dry, how dry skin naturally is this? But we join us. Are we crying? <laughs> I know we need to dress up now, sister, because we have nowhere to go. Even if we have nowhere to go, you know that we just have some of us, we keep complaining of time. Oh, I don't have time to do this, I don't have time to do this. It's just it's just it's just fortunate that I have a YouTube channel and Sometimes I can just do like what I've done today like that and it will serve me the purpose of posting on my YouTube channel. But if not, I, so I like to just make up myself, take my pictures, you know, take my pictures, post them on social media. Eh? Life is hard. It doesn't mean that your face has to be hard as well. Take care of your face. Moisturize your face. Do your skincare routine. Do exercise so that you glow. Some women, some women can't go out without makeup. Some women can't go out without makeup. That is just how insecure they are. You don't have to be like that. If you're taking care of your skin inwardly, you will not depend on makeup to look beautiful. That's why I can just get up and I come in life without makeup. I usually just make jokes that and um, today you push should just take me as I am. It's not because I cannot work without makeup. It's just because you know when I started this channel, most times I was doing my videos without the makeup. Many of my subscribers wrote to me that Vivian, what type of beauty channel are you? You'll be coming to come and do video without makeup. You are coming live without makeup. What type of beauty channel are you? We need to be seeing makeup. That's why I even started doing these things. But aside from that, go to my Facebook, go to my Facebook page. You'll see so many of my features without makeup. So I don't depend on makeup to feel like I'm beautiful. Just take care of yourself. Just, just take care of yourself. There are so many products. Anyway, me, I am a natural remedy person. I am gang, gang beauty. We are from the same kind of kind of thing. So I'm a natural. I don't spend so much money on. Those type of things like that. Baby says beauty isn't about makeup. Beauty isn't about makeup. Oh. Beauty is about inner beauty as well. I, I know, right? You see some very beautiful girls, like very beautiful, attractive, wonderful divas. And when they come close to you, their character will be stinking from miles ahead. Especially women. That women who have very bad characters. That women who are not accommodative. You have to be accommodative in your environment. You have to be accommodative with your friends. Please, I said being accommodative. I didn't say being tolerant because some people, when you're accommodative, they take your accommodation for granted and they start serving you trash. Be able to stand up for yourself, okay? Yes. This is our live stream.
today is taking a different turn and let's just follow the turn that the live stream is taking yes but on this my yt journey I, i'm so very grateful i've met people that have made me cry i've made i've met people that have also made me smile i've met friends that we are distant but i can feel like this is somebody i can count on you understand <coughs> This is somebody like a bluebird is there. German is there. Well, in the same way, I've, I've seen the way she interacts. I like her personality. But there's some, there's some people. They'll be very pretty outwardly looking at her. Oh my God. I wish I had that get complexion. I wish I had her height. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. Interact with them one, two, three times. You see the nasty attitude they have. Especially as women, I started a series on YouTube. By the grace of God, with time, I'm going to continue that series. And that series is why some women hate each other so much. Women that don't like, they don't love to see the progress of their fellow woman. You be both of you will be doing something, and you're doing other things to succeed, but you will not be telling your fellow woman why. Why is it like that? Why is it like that? Let me even even base it from where I'm coming from because I've even forgotten about those people. I've, let me just forget about it. At the end of the day, God's will will be done. Yeah? At the end of the day, God's will will be done. The Frenchman says, Que sera terra? The friend man says, Meaning, what shall be, shall be, what shall be, will be. <laughs> what shall be, shall be. <laughs> what will be, will be. I can't stand up for myself, but I'm defensive about those that I love. Hmm. Blue Bear, I couldn't stand up for myself. Oh. I could not stand up for myself at all marine dong you're welcome to the live stream thank you for coming i couldn't stand up for myself as well but it got to the to a point where i was like vivian you have to stand up for yourself and with you we are relating you do something i don't like i take you there and there it's true that the manner of approach matters so what i've learned to do now is to calm down myself when i feel like my anger is calm. I tell you that, that thing, this thing that you did, this thing that you said, I, I, I wasn't okay with it. I didn't like it. You understand? Life should. Life is all about communication. If somebody hurts you and you're hurting, you're having heart attack, you're developing diseases and getting angry without telling the person, the person is there living his or her life and hurting other people without knowing. If somebody does something to you, make sure you tell them. Who are you in France? No, Stella, I'm in Ireland. Stella, you're in France, right? Did I succeed to send you a friend request? Let me highlight this so I can read. My sister sometimes will say, just zip the mouth and sit. What does not affect you shouldn't be something you fight against. Sometimes you can you can ignore some minor things, you know. But if it's something that is paining you, that is really making you angry, just voice it out. Just voice it out. But but we're living in a world where when somebody hurts you and you tell the person, the person turns to get angry more than you who was hurt. You understand? That's the type of world we're living in. But regardless, I still don't care. I just tell you the way it is.
But for small kids as well, but for the times they can stand up and I have to speak about it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you should. <clears throat> Thank you, Lifestyle. Pube, I'll be ending the stream at 9.13. You think? Oh, let me just end it now. What do you think? What do you recommend? You are too faithful to feel me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life and come to realize you're too faithful to feel me. Do you guys see? Hmm. We are here to hustle. Time to rest. After I end this live stream, I have to do one video. I have to finish editing a video I had started before I go and shower, wash this makeup off. I don't just do makeup like that. Makeup is too stressed. When I do when I do makeup, I will do like three to four.